What's up? It's your boy D Change coming at you with another daily Dave. I don't know if you've noticed, but my wrists are pretty narrow. Oh man, that lighting. Um, that's not what I'm talking about though. What I'm talking about is ergonomics. I've noticed that um I guess because of this constant positioning of being in computer mode means um, there's just a lot of tension in the forearm muscles and like the wrist and hands and stuff. So I've definitely been feeling the fatigue and there are times where I have like pain and exhaustion in my in my arms and my my hands and fingers and I know I know what this is. I know it's too much of the like positioning your hands all over the mouse and keyboard, unfortunately. Um, I find it really interesting that I didn't have this before, or this wasn't an issue before, but I think it's also because um, at the office I would only spend a certain amount of time keeping my hands in that posture. You know, and there's other stuff you gotta do, like gotta get up, shake it out, microwave food in the kitchen, um, go out for a walk and then I had to like drive a car and then you know I just like I had less time to kind of kill in a leisure sense and um, there are nights where you know I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be spending it on my computer I wouldn't go out I would meet someone um, go to an event or something like that so but now all I do literally is I wake up, roll out of bed, get on the computer, have lunch, get back on the computer, go out for a walk, uh, have dinner, get back on the computer for the rest of the night. <laughs> so I think it's definitely taken a toll on uh, my body. I mean, this is, I'm sure a lot of other people have been experiencing this too. Or maybe my ergonomic setup is not great here. And that's unfortunate because um, I didn't necessarily go to great lengths to uh, to make sure it's it's good. But I have I have spent time in the past years trying to make it, um, I guess, as optimal as I could. But um, yeah, it's just one of those... I mean, I, th I think it's honestly the fact that I'm spending so much more time just doing this now. And then when you combine it with like staying up late, uh, playing certain games or whatever, yeah, that'll, that'll definitely do it. So but I'm trying to think like sometimes, um, yeah, when I am just working from home, I mean, I've got like, actually, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can't really explain it. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. I gotta take it easy, you know? Take breaks. I looked up a um like a stretches video. So it kind of shows you how like you can uh stretch your hand your arms a certain way to get, you know, to release some of the tension across the forearms. So I should be uh practicing that on the daily. And just taking breaks, shaking it out, allowing uh, my hands to rest and stuff like that. So if you guys are also in that situation, you should definitely do the same. I've never really um, gotten super bad like arthritis or carpal tunnel or anything like that. But I know that um, I've definitely had times where uh, it got pretty close. I mean, I think I think the thing is the issue is like you'll get the pain. And then you'll have to deal with it. I've got friends who who basically experience it. And so from what it sounds like, it comes and goes. Yeah, there was one time in college, I think I played so much um, Heroes of New Earth. And like when, when you're playing it, you're, you kind of lock yourself in a certain position because you need to be able to press certain keys on the keyboard and then use your mouse a certain way. It was my left arm that felt... Um, kind of like dead weight like it, it would 
I forget if it, if it was sharp or if it was dull. But it was a lot of, um, it was just a lot of pain. And I remember telling a friend and he was like, maybe you should just uh, take a break from the game. <laughs> true, true story. Um, so yeah, I think that's what's going on. Got to gotta moderate ourselves gotta get proper rest i mean that's that's another thing right quality sleep matters too in in the recovery period so um man, i just wish um yeah unfortunately with a pandemic um kind of like a lot of the activities we could have used in the past to alleviate pain and kind of you know um keep ourselves occupied just not open to us purely because human to human contact is um something you won't, you don't want a lot of so i was gonna say like yeah going to going to like the spa or something and just soaking in there would have been great um using the saunas would have been great i looked up like like barrel saunas and i was like oh that's interesting you know because you could just literally have a like a like a barrel that fits like four people in it and you can put it in your backyard or something, hook it up to something. And um, you could chill or like warm up in there. But then it's also like, man, we're going to put it. And uh, <laughs> um, it's probably not as great as like the ones um, you would go to. I'm talking like Korean spa. Um, I, I think I've I've noticed that like, like I like that style, like at the at the Korean spas or the Japanese spas in Japan. Because the saunas are pretty, pretty hot, but um, like I I went to one at like a hotel, or like the the Mammoth Lakes um cabin or resort we were in, and uh, it's not that hot, you know. I I kind of felt like, hey, am I, you know, am I getting my sweat on properly here? And, and no, at least I didn't feel that was the case. So anyway, that's my that's my arm update for the day. Just letting you know. Um, yeah, things are all right. I'll take care of it. But if, if things don't get all right, I'll let you know. <laughs> all righty. Um, I'm running out of topics for, for this video series. Uh, actually, I just got to... There's some things I got to sort out just to make sure I have a, a better plan for um, for a specific sub-series or whatever. So... Uh, also, I like, I like, fell asleep and just woke up, and I'm like, oh god, I gotta, <laughs> gotta get something out there. So, anyway, hope you're all doing great. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.